Okay, uh... Hello. Hello, open quotes, everybody. This, this is an extremely impromptu stream. I I was like, oh, what time is that triple I thing happening today? And I looked, and it literally was happening in a single minute. So, this is a presentation that uh, is centered around indie games. Nobody's here in chat right now because I just I just went live. There is no Twitter notification because I literally did not have the time to do it. Uh, but here we are. I hope I didn't fucking leave ASMR on in the background. Oh god. World premiere. Oh my god. I was wholly unprepared. But I would like to see this. This is the probably the least prepared I've ever been for a stream, so I hope everything looks and sounds okay. Slay the Spire 2! Oh my god! <laughs> Starting off strong with it. This was not announced until right now, right? World premiere? Early access 2025. Well, I know some people are going to be very happy about that. That's kind of fucking mental. A whole new game. God damn. I had to- <laughs> Isabel's here very groggy. Oh, is this Risk of Rain too? I, Isabel was asleep and I woke her up and I was like, Hey, babe, sorry for the short notice, but I am going to stream in one minute. <laughs> this is just like a big update for Risk of Rain 2. Hey, hon. Sorry. <laughs> Even Shu is groggy and watching. World premiere. World premiere. Kill Knight. What the fuck do you mean, Kill Knight? Turn it up a bit. I can turn it up a bit. Complete. Well, this looks cool. Getting a lot of fury vibes from this. Cool hat, dude. That looks very cool. I'm getting the impression that this is going to be an extremely, like, to the point thing. Like, how long is this presentation, I wonder? Minecraft. It's not my crap. This city's got it all. Bartenders, pet <laughs> collectors, doctors, waiters. This is a voxel game? Killers. Okay, this is gonna sound now naive, but this isn't Teardown, is it? Now. No. This is a game Global that already Earth exists, right? That was in like early access. Came from under it. Shadows of Death, like that's what it is. Just like anybody else. Is it they becoming work, real game? They clock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a trail. All I gotta do Oh is my god, said among us. Before they kill again. Looks very cool. I've heard good things about that uh game. This is going so this it's going so fast. <laughs> Oh, and now it's a Nintendo Direct. Congratulations. My time at Porsche. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> oh no, it's a Nintendo Direct. Oh. Oh, look at him hit the gritty by the big campfire. <laughs> it's literally my time at New Word. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. I think the Viking raids could get any worse. The Danes are coming! You 
A lord of England must tame the land. Establish a thriving village and keep it supplied as it grows. Construct that fucking smithing sound effect was straight out of Dark Souls 1. That is literally the exact same like smithing hammer sound. For our enemies have harnessed an ancient terror. What the fuck? Robot dinosaurs medieval base building game? Only the What the fuck? Wait, this looks awesome, actually. The ones who can raise an army. The ones who can fight together. Yeah, and of course when I say it's straight out of Dark Souls 1, it's a stock sound effect that's also used by Dark Souls 1. I should make that clear. Dino Lord. Dino Lords. Actually looks kind of badass. Okay, the newest Metroidvania. Is this like blasphemous for girls? Here, babe, there's... Are you good with these? Isabel wants to listen. Yeah, I don't know where your blue headphones are. Gestalt Steam Center. Okay. Hold on to your butts. Oh my god, Jurassic Park. PS5 win. Oh. Look at all those numbers. The bitrate is awful even here because Vampire Survivors is a destroyer of bitrates. I'm glad they finally acknowledged that the garlic looks like balls. Big congratulations to Vampire Survivors for being the first game ever to have no aesthetic whatsoever. Like, there's literally no tone. And listen, that game was fun, but... Sheesh. It's like every piece of media related to Vampire Survivors has a completely different tone, I feel like. Including the game itself. Kind of look like Contra guys, as Isabel said. But Contra is not indie. Contra is Konami. Contra guys in Vamp Sir. Whoa. Is this still Vampire Survivors? It was like a mech chase. They put content. Put content in the game. Operation Guns. Konami Digital Entertainment. That's wild. I feel like I guess Con uh, Contra's really the kind of one of those franchises. What are they gonna do besides whore it out to indie games? Oh, this is the Wolf Among Us. Is this still Vamp, sir? Brad Fang from Contra Hard Corpse. Wasn't that game, like, terrible, or am I thinking of Rogue Corpse? Corpse. Freeze. My name is Eric Hillman. Oh my god. And I am the Eric composer Hillman, Composer Jump Scare. I would describe the world of Flintlock as this beautiful mixture of dust and dirt and grime with magic and gods and wonder. A platypus? The main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to <laughs> achieve a sound that felt unique. I'm sorry, this that denim vest. Setting, Are we gonna talk about it? To these characters. For the idea of combat in this game, I hey guys, I got a joke for you. Alright. 
What are Mario's small, pants made out of? Completely in the other direction. Isabel, um, do you know what Mario's pants are made out of? Like you were up against something awesome and No, what are they made of? Say. Kind of like you were up against a real challenge. They made of denim, denim, denim. <laughs> Isn't that like, hey, she laughed. She la People were saying minus two before. <laughs> There's a wall of minus twos before I even got to speak. Denim, denim, denim. That's so funny. God, what a god tier joke. I don't know what the joke is going to be, but minus two. Get the cane, drag him off stage. Oh. Flintlock, the siege of Dunn. This is the first I've ever heard of this. It does not look like an indie game. World premiere. Humble. I feel like Humble fell off. Never alone. That was. I, I should play that game. That game looked cool. Fish. Is this just a sequel to Never Alone? Okay. Even Neverer. Oh, that's it. Awesome. This is going at such a fucking breakneck speed, uh, like. I now know what a Nintendo Direct would feel like if they didn't have the little do 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 and like check out the I Moonlighter game on Nintendo Switch today. Did we they are straight up just credits? showing games. It's They're honestly kind of Maybe. insane. The horrors were born, and that day the cataclysm began. We sought refuge on the peak, and we grew stronger. This looks very neat visually. Oh. Then, one night, instead of fear... Guys, are Nintendo Directs hold. cooked? She bent the perilous to her will. With her we stood... Unbreakable. That looks very cool. It's on GOG! Yeah, I know I'm watching the Triple I initiative. Take our hourglass hero. Collect your bearings and focus your mind. Oh, Diablo 2, finally! And enter Death's Realm once again. This is another Vampire Survivors kind of game. This is like if Vampire Survivors had graphics. Do you really think you can kill Death, though? <laughs> we don't have a string for him. <laughs> <laughs> that, Mike. What kind of legend would it be with that fire mayhem? <laughs> this voice acting is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I want to see Death's heart encased in a prison of ice. This kind of feels like people won a contest to be in a video game <laughs> and used their like Discord chat mic. Somebody said literally Hades at home. That's so mean. We're all so mean. Hero. Uh this is not your end. Game is already out. Act two coming on 420. LMAO. Okay. When Earth turns against you. Survival. This is all that matters. Survival. I, whenever people just say the word survival like that, I'll always think of the Michael Rosen YouTube poop, where Michael Rosen the gets picked up by a giant alien, time. and he sticks it, he points his finger to his temple, and he says, Survival. And then he shits himself to make the alien drop him. We live to expand. We live to I'm assuming this is some kind of zombie game. It looks apocalyptic. It's roller coaster type. It's apocalypse. Mm. We live. Ecstasy. Ecstasy. You're talking about a city or a city? To survive. End of zone two. Never heard of it. You 
Youth Cat Games. Dyson Sphere. Whoa. What the fuck? Is this like some kind of mental RTS? Palace? Yeah, there's a, there's a big Fallout vibe going on in this trailer, but... It surely isn't actually related to Fallout, it doesn't look like it. Uh, a Dyson Sphere, as we all know from Star Trek The Next Generation, is... Uh, a device that was theorized, I think, by a guy named World Dyson, who uh, said, oh, it would be awesome if you could, like, build this gigantic mega structure around a sun and just, like, collect all of its energy at once. Embiggins. It said Im temporarily embiggins. <laughs> Why are they playing the Oh I don't wanna look at Bagglebag, nope. What is this like Mario Party minigame that keeps cutting back to? Undermine 2. Oh yeah, Undermine already existed. I remember looking at Undermine 1, which is pretty impressive, I think. You can all agree. I do remember the existence of that game somehow. Okay, Vinny will love this. Looks like RimWorld. <laughs> she was going to town on that. Long jaunt. I like that little logo. It's just like fire with legs. It's a bird. It's a bull. It's a um, chef. It's just an ordinary guy. What the fuck? Car with legs? Car with legs! It's realistic. Oh. It's a genius. <laughs> what the car? Is this made by the same developers as What the Golf? Is that the, uh... The joke there? This looks amazing, honestly. <laughs> I love this stupid car, what the fuck? cool. That was awesome. Yeah, it sounded like they were voice mixing there. Okay. A break. What What does the break curtail? Okay, okay. Only a few more roguelites, promise. So surely no fucking way, I know everybody's thinking it, but no fucking way there's gonna be Silk Song here. Secrets and whispers brought now to the fore. Darkest Dungeon 2. That's already a thing though, right? The light of victory casts a long shadow. That's that one mountain from Breath of the Wild. And in that nighted gloom, your frightful triumph is under siege. Damn, they went to the Foe Tor. I was asking recently on Twitter about, like, are there games where they, like, show you... Actually, maybe that was Slay the Spire, not Darkest Dungeon. 
I, I get them very frequently confused as a non-player of both. I think I'm thinking of Slay the Spire. That was the one where people were like, oh yeah, they tell you what the enemies are going to do at like every turn, basically. So what exactly is this announcing? Kingdom. These corrupted lands. New game mode. Okay. They are yours now. And you are bound to them. Cool. And they got Leonard Nimoy from Beyond the Grave to do the voice Hello, there. Hello, I'm Anwar Noriega, Dog. CEO and co-founder of Wabi Sabi Games, a team of developers mainly located in Latin America. That's Growing such a up, good dog. We it literally says very good dog. Anime and graffiti and wanted to share all that love with the world with our wow. very first video game, Rakugaki. This is the first project we have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Gearbox Riot Games' underrepresented founders program. Now, here's the first look. World Premiere. World! The shit look like they control. They everything Whoa. that made our city great. Our art. And even the people, scrubbed and drained. But I know what I have to do. You fly with graffiti? You fly with paint. The only way to resist. What the fuck? That's kind of awesome. He's with Rakugaki. Rakugaki. Why have I heard that word before? What does that mean? That rings so many bells, just that word. That looked cool. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, man. Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic, narrative-driven RPG set in Doodle the Doodle in Japanese. It means Australian sketch and outback. brat. Oh my god. To survive, Gaki. To make we learned choices, that. Because there, there was a certain point compass, where I was like, oh. New alignment system that what is the, there must be some Japanese word that means brat. Because in like English translations of Japanese ideas. works, you Become always see people say brat. Jackaroo, a surveyor, or a Gaki. of a barter crew. And discover their unique attribute bonuses, starting skills, and reputation within the world. Form bonds with a diverse cast of companions, each with their own moral leaning and ideal outcome for the many challenges you'll face on your journey across Western Australia. Australia. Boy, I go to Australia. I wonder, is this Broken okay? Now it is a live stream. Available now. Oh my god, a bomb! Tiny build. Didn't they go out of business? I thought Tiny Build went under. The Queensland government, is that, what that said? It always fucks me up that some countries just fund independently developed video games. Like Fez, I think. Phil Fish just straight up got funding from, like, the government in, like, Quebec. The heroes of the Ravens I thought the mouse was on screen, but it was on the little preview. <laughs> This looks like some shit that would come out in like 2010, and I'm not even saying that in a bad way. It's just got that kind of look to it. Literally not even, I'm not trying to dunk or anything. The government still regrets that one. Hey, Fez is a great fucking game, okay? Yeah, Hollow Knight was also partly funded by Australia. That sounds so funny to say, but it's true, I think. I fear a darker menace lurks deep within the shadows. Whoa. I'm really resisting the urge to say Shantae because I know that's not right. It's Hamter. It's a Hamter game? Rat game? Davy Jones rat? Baby rat. 
I swear to God, if this turns into like a, a survival game. That looks so cute. You... Wait, I want to see more of that. You play on the map? The world just looks like a map. Why has no one ever done this? Okay, am I crazy, or does this also look like Risk of Rain 2? Surely it's not, though. saying it's Hyper Light Breaker. I'll take you guys' word for it. Yeah, wow. Okay, but that was already announced, right? Early Access Summer 2024. Boo. Please let that be the whole trailer. Oh, okay. It was a good try. I tried to manifest the trailer ending. <laughs> oh my god, new race just dropped. I feel like we've seen that exact UI four times. Uh, yeah. I think I'm not drunk enough. It looks very, uh, into the breachy, except, you know, not sci-fi. Basically, I see tiles on the ground, I think, into the breach, even though that's just broadly a, a strategy game thing. Alright. Dwarf. Very cool. New dwarves just dropped. That's not Celeste. No, that's Sasampa Production. Shush. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that sucks, bro. This looks cool. I like what I'm seeing here. Not my kind of game, but I like what I'm seeing. I kind of enjoy the concept of kind of like a, a life sim or like, you know, city management type game where natural disasters happen. My very like goal oriented brain likes that. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. This wizard wields fire oh. arcana. Easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe the contest is finally heating up. Oh, heat, they say. Uh, oh my god. That's the scent of failure. She's onto an electrifying strategy. Earth meets lightning. Mm, Celeste skylines. Y'all are just saying words now. <laughs> Welcome to Deadsville. Population. Welcome to Deadsville. <laughs> Stop. Have the right idea. Any rules against teaming up? Nope. Using others as shields is a time-honored tradition. Incredible. The best I've seen yet. But to win, it will take a champion, a master. No. Holy shit! We got a big Legend. raid too. Wizard of Legend two. Okay. And that's another one where I heard the first one was good. People liked Wizard of Legend, right? Beloved school management sim. They're playing a management- What the fu- <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry? It's a recursive management sim. Layers upon layers. What the f-
Let's cool. Okay, you gotta find a tiny criticism here. You gotta find something else to say besides the same text every time. In the little interstitiary thing. This is an egg game? <laughs> new potatoes just dropped. What the fuck do you mean, new potatoes? <laughs> I need a, uh, I need a toothpicker. Hold on. There's, there's stuff. How do I get stuff in my teeth? I, I brushed and flossed real good last night, and I haven't eaten anything since. That was brotato. Uh, am I watching the Triple I Initiative? Mario Sunshine 2. Yeah. Wait, the crab getting crushed by the door is, like, straight out of, uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide live-action movie. Yeah, this game, this was, this is a Breath of the Wild type, right? Where you take pictures. But I guess it's coming to Switch, that's the big announcement. You can make a cairn. Does not look very Whoa. good. They got the Breath of the Wild laser. Chi. Okay. Uh, Streets of the escapist. Streets of Rogue. Sandbox, set in a vast randomly generated open world. Wild. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to create the most open-ended and fun sandbox experience ever. Wow. And evolve the ultimate freedom of choice that made the most fun game sandbox ever is a pretty fucking it It's a pretty prestigious president of a small country. Either That's pretty intense for an indie game. Via online co-op. How you reach your goal is completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak. Or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their own unique, weird traits. Take a look at these uh. glorious bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, wrestler, detective, ninja, also gorilla, and werewolf, gorilla. and... Uh, Investment banker and many more. Be sneaky or go guns blazing or make others do your dirty work. Get inventive and experiment. There are multiple ways to complete each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. Machine guns, shrink rays, seems bear neat traps, for it's uh, supercars uh, and speedboats. Seems like this game has Jack like uh, boxes, immersive sim peels, qualities to it. Ocarina, you know. Necronomicon. Uh, check, I guess. The huge procedurally Which is cool. generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. Bustling cities, serene countryside, mysterious caves, sunlit islands, creepy graveyards. Explore this And it has graphics unlike Vampire Survivors. And write your own story. Streets of Rogue 2 is coming to Steam Early Access later this year. Neat. Add the game to your wish list. Tiny build again. Like maybe if there was just a logo for the triple I. Those are some fucking huge cows. What the fuck was that? I want a whole game about the giant cows. Giant heese? This shit does not look indie. Can Philip the Pioneer looks like he's about to cry. Ogie. Oh. It's Pogi. Oh. So cool. Man, Pal World is one of those games where, like, truly. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> 
people talked about that game for like one week and there was such a kerfuffle about it and I've never heard anybody speak about it since then. That was the most like fad game of all time. Would not have been nearly as popular without the like controversy of it being obviously extremely derivative of Pokemon. And everybody kept getting like, you know, hung up on like, oh, is it like technically actual plagiarism? And it's like, I feel like that's not really the thing that should be being discussed here. <laughs> Mend your wounds and press on. The fiends seek to consume you. The fall may yet be saved. And the actions of the Valiant are rewarded in relics eternal. A oh, rare loot! Great is the wrath of God, and the second death may take you. Yet together, hope and help remain. Hone your skills, indulge in modest vanity. Make haste to the gate. Yeah, people are just so and starved for Pokemon content. The last 500 Pokemon games just weren't enough. Thirty three sinners, thirty three doomed. Thirty three dudes doomed. Only through pain and sacrifice will thirty three souls become thirty three immortals. Somebody said that this is the game with thirty two player co op for some reason. What the fuck? That's kind of a neat idea. Huh. That little, uh, that little sound effect they keep playing is... It sounds like it's straight out of the beginning of, uh... Whoa. Sounds like it's straight out of the beginning of the Stardust Crusaders theme. Kids, remember your five a day. This was some shit where, according, I feel like, I remember seeing the developer say, like, yeah, I posted this just, like, little animation test demo thing on Twitter, and it absolutely exploded in popularity. And he was like, well, I guess I gotta make, I guess I gotta make a full game now. It looks really cool. Bendy, but epic. Bendy and the Ink Machine or whatever is such a, like, fake-ass rubber hose game. They've got, like, a JPEG. One still image of a rubber hose character, you know? Oh. Like when, I remember when Cuphead was like being announced and shit and people were like, Oh, Bendy and the Ink Machine did it first! And I'm like, Bendy and the Ink Machine did fucking what first? What did they do? Tell me a thing they did that Cuphead is currently m mimicking. And in the Twink Machine... Oh, I'm sorry, they have three JPEGs. I'm sorry. As is tradition, Mouse will come out in 2030. No. What is a man? This is literally just Castlevania music. What is a man? That just does- it, this is Castlevania. This is just Castlevania no, stuff. The music is. and the- everything. Why is it- why is it this? This has got to be another Contra style thing where like there's a game that like features Castlevania character. Cause no way this is just a new Castlevania game. Up- er- er- rising? Vrising? Okay. A rising. Ooh rising? V it, no, it's V rising. That's awesome! That was very, Ooh, very, yeah. very cool. He looks evil.
MMO Diablo, okay. There's already an MMO Diablo. Silly. Actually, is there? Isn't that like the most recent Diablo was like a shitty MMO that everybody hated? Prince of Purple. You guys are just saying shit. You are simply just saying words. Meow. Lots of these kinds of, like, animated trailers. You know, that little girl in that moment kind of looked like... Awesome. That little girl looked like the mom in the... Oh, what is it? What is that fucking show? Midnight Gospel. Midnight Gospel, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm in two minds about these trailers, these kinds of trailers, because they are really cool. Oh. They do look really cool, but we always prefer to see, you know, gameplay. This is the gameplay. It's like Dragon's Lair. It's just quick time events. I mean, hey, look at that. It, like, actually really seamlessly transitioned into gameplay. And that is basically how the game looks. Hey, this looks awesome! It is a very Prince of Persia-esque. It's what you call a step platformer. Yeah, looks like dead silence. That was really cool, though, actually. I, I take back any hesitancy I had in my voice. The way they transitioned from the animation into the... Oh, it's literally Prince a Prince of, of Persia. <laughs> the rogue Prince of Persia. Wild. Very cool. Yeah, it's not every day that they, like, have, like, this, like, animated trailer, oh, and then the art style. Studio, Ubisoft. Ubisoft, uh, has, uh, I think it's like, Ubisoft Montreal or whatever, right? That has, like, an indie department that's the same people who produced... Or maybe I'm thinking of... Because it's, like, Rayman Origins and Legends, and then also, like, uh, Grow Home. Say what you will about Ubisoft, but they do support, like, independent developers in certain ways. I know, like, saying Rayman is an indie game is a little weird, but... I'm assuming that that, that is it, though, since they're showing a recap reel. Fucking Pal World. Pal World was literally just there for them to be like, Member Pal World? No, it's got <laughs> Arena now. Yeah. Okay, is that just it? Very cool. Don't go anywhere yet. Oh. We're coming back in a few seconds with exclusive gameplay and live streams on Steam and Twitch. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna head out. But, you know. Oh, they got Ponsel in here? God damn. Very cool. Well, you know what? That was that was neat. There was a lot of cool stuff in there. Isabel's staring at me with a very blank expression. <laughs> uh, that was cool stuff. That was fun. It was honestly kind of jarring how, like, breakneck the pace was, frankly. Okay, I would- I don't even really- I don't- I'm good on this. Uh, this is on IGN, by the way. What the fuck? Just the IGN fucking YouTube page. I didn't even realize that, again, because I did not- <laughs> I did not know that this was- I didn't realize this was happening until the fucking, like, minute before it happened. But uh, that was very cool, and not everything was for me, but uh, that's that's all video games. Not, not everything's ever going to be all for you. So uh, I don't have much to say, except there were some cool-ass looking games in there. A lot of uh, sequels, I think. It's kind of hard to build, like, hype and indie games in a lot of ways is kind of like oil and water, where... It's like, it's hard to get hyped for something that you don't have any expectations for, basically. Expectations. So there's a lot of sequels in there that people, that, to, to get people hyped, I feel like. Like Slay the Spire 2, I feel like that's huge for a lot of people. Uh, huh? In Bellatro. Bellatro. They should have put Bellatro in there. Uh, and yeah, of course it was a fever dream to, to even hope for Silk Song, but we always will. Uh, it was cool stuff. Prince of Persia looked neat. Uh, maybe it's time that I get into the Prince of Persia series and play all fucking ten Prince of Persia games. <laughs> like, the, 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 the original that nobody plays, and then there's a really good trilogy of, like, 3D games on, like, the PS2, right? But, 
Milk bong will never happen. Milk bong. It really is getting pretty ridiculous. I know it's like indie game developers are probably so sick of like Silk Song like sort of hogging all the hype, I guess, or hogging a lot of attention without actually like releasing trailers and shit. But uh it is really getting kinda ridiculous how uh Silk Song is. I, I remember there was a period of time where like they announced it and for whatever reason I thought it was coming out within like a couple of weeks of them announcing it <laughs> there was like some there was some date that was going around that I think was just like straight up misinformation and uh, I remember being so like excited and then I was like oh it's actually probably going to be like a year and then it was like, oh, it actually was like many, many years. <laughs> uh, mouse looked very cool. The car game looked very cool. Uh, yeah, the, the 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 like Castlevania and like Contra stuff is kind of funny to me. It kind of feels like like Konami has no fucking idea what they're doing when it comes to video games. So at this point, they're basically just whoring out their IPs to like random indie games which is like the funniest possible ending but also probably kind of sad for like konami fans but eh. are there really a bunch of like i don't know are there a bunch of people out there who are like oh yeah i'm like a huge konami fan or have konami fans just like given up at this point <laughs> they gave the castlevania ip to the dead cells devs is that actually true like they Gave? When you say gave, surely you don't mean actually gave entirely. There's no way. I mean, listen, everybody likes Castlevania, but, like, you know, that's, another, frankly, Castlevania is a series where it's, like, they've got, like, 20 incredible games. You know? Konami fans are all 40 years old. They have jobs. <laughs> uh... That's awesome. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm not con I'm not concerned about like Silk Song never coming out. I think it's you know people are saying that in like a hysteria basically, but uh, just gotta play other games in the meantime, you know. Uh, and there's plenty of other games coming out that that don't that don't just feel like oh I'm just like killing time until like a good game comes out. There's always good stuff coming out. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Castlevania and Mega Man both ran their course, dude, so hard. But here's the thing: we live in a world where nothing can ever die. No series is ever allowed to just end. You you can't just be like oh yeah we just you know. We made a bunch of uh, really fucking great games in this series, and now it can just be laid to rest. It's like, no, there need to be new entries always forever. It needs to, everything needs to uh, peter out, you know? Nothing can just end. It needs to Simpsons. I swear to God, if I have my Gwimbly gun, I'll be right now! Dude, we gotta make a Gwimbly game. Probably, we probably shouldn't make a Gwimbly game. There's nothing new under the sun. That's such a lie. I played Pepper Grinder the other day. It was fucking peak. Uh, to Simpsons. Yeah, they simpsons out. Uh, okay, well, that's it. Uh, I, I'm just now looking. The Just Chatting category on Twitch has 29.3 million followers. What the fuck? Why would you follow the just chatting category? Is that for like, you know, like gooners? What do you mean follow it? Like you follow a category on Twitch because you like a specific game. I feel like sex, swimsuit ladies, gooner category. For titty, it means titty. 100% for gooners. Desperate for human connection. It's like, oh, I'm a huge fan of the extremely broad scope of streams that fall under the category of just chatting. Like, I feel like that's like a catch-all category, you know?
whatever. I just don't know why, why would you follow that? Follow Mussolini, please. Uh, all right. I guess that's all for now, and uh, there's a chance that I will do a stream later today. I don't even know what it would be. Uh, maybe Salty Bet? Guys, last night, something amazing happened in Salty Bet. I, I got an insane upset. It was like 146 to 1 odds, and I bet 50,000 on it. And I got it more than doubled my money. It gave me like 8 million fucking salty bucks in one bet. It was insane. So now I am sitting pretty at 16,578,893 salty bucks. So next time I stream salty bet, we can go fucking ham and do like million bets. Maybe even, uh, maybe even all in if I, if I whittle down my money to an amount where it seems reasonable to all in. That's what everybody's watching Salty Bet to see if I'm going to all in, and I don't even know if it's going to happen. It might not even happen. But uh, you have to eat me now because I'm rich? Yeah. It's not real money. It's just internet points, like Reddit karma. Right now I'm looking at Salty Bet, and real Beavis is fighting <laughs> from Beavis and Butthead. I like that it's the real Beavis. Uh, okay, uh, should we raid somebody? I wonder if my fellow... Uh, Twitch streamers were were reacting this presentation. Doesn't really seem like it. Limes, I guess. It was Limes doing it. Uh, Northern Lion. Let's go raid Northern Lion. He's playing Bellatro right now. Mental. It's not jealousy. It's just like... I yeah, know, sure. Kinda... Dude, Northern Lion's so fucking funny. I'm just kind of sick of him. Let's go raid him. <laughs> Uh, Bellatro got an ever. update recently, like a big balance patch, which is kind of cool, I think it's if you're into I've that sort of thing. In uh, so, I hope you guys got a kick out of that. That was a cool presentation. Again, yeah, frankly, the, the, the like, little interstitial cards and, like, the breakneck pace of it kind of made me feel like I was, like, coming down with a cold, but uh, it's fine. There was some very cool stuff in there. All right, go enjoy Northern Lion. I'll see you later, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Goodbye.